So, welcome guys to the 23rd, I feel, 23rd episode of Unnamed Podcast. Today we have another special guest. We have Project Dreamcatcher. I would say it's the first idol anime based in Malaysia, correct? Yeah. Hope so, hope so, hope so. Hope so, hopefully. Yeah. We hope to be the first one. But yes, this is, I'm really honored to be able to invite the first, the creators of the first ever idol anime in Malaysia. So again, for people that's tuning in, thank you for joining us. And then uh, I, my name is Yin I'm the uh, assistant director in this project, Project Dreamcatcher. And then with me, CK is the, our main boss, the director of the Project Dreamcatcher. So, so this is their logo? Yeah. So the, so the first, very, very first IP uh, we are working on is Project Dreamcatcher is uh, anime, local Malaysia's anime project. Yeah, this is the Yore project. Uh... Your productions. Uh. Yeah. So we our our production name is Your Productions. I see this is a very fun logo and there's some stars are going on. Hopefully we can create something interesting. <laughs> yeah. So I think uh, next would be uh, our visions and missions. You know, every company needs a, a direction. So when we created this, then we said, okay, what we really want to know, do and what is the core, core value of the company studios that we really want to hold, hold on to, right? So basically, your production is, um, personally, from, from my perspective, I want to create something like, because all of I and CK are from 3D animation background. So what we did, what we, what we studied is basically 3D. But at the same thing, uh, at the same time, we believe that 3D is doesn't limit at that moment. I mean, it's not only creative, creating more and more realistic stuff, right? So uh, if you if you see now the industry, like especially from Japan anime, they've been adapting like uh, 3D into their production as well. So meaning some sometimes that part of it is uh, they create they use 3D to replace uh, like a 2D anime hand drawn. So it it saves a lot of production time for them. But I think uh, although there's a, a, a bit huge uh, you know debate of whether you should put 3D or into 2D or not. But I think personally, uh, if it, if it's done correctly, I think it will really bring sparks your project. So uh, your productions really want to explore on that direction. So we, you know, hybrid hybrid visuals of, of combining 2D and 3D stuff. So besides that, then story wise, then hope, of course we we will we will prefer to create some things like. Uh, story with uh, great uh, social values or like heart heartwarming meaningful stories so meaning some things with purpose you know mm. so so back to this project dream catcher right i mean um after we announced in on on social media people be wondering so uh, what is this project um, what are you doing i mean to sum it up the, the project is still under production so we're mm. working, working very hard on it but because today we think it is a very good opportunity so yeah i think we can show you some of sneak peek of the whole uh, the the mv this drum is roll <laughs> uh is there an mv link or is there uh no this ah. is just a screenshot oh now now we are we're, we're, we're teasing you and this is a few caps that directly from uh the the, the music videos right so oh. you can see the background and the characters just to highlight that the, the characters are in 3D and mm -hmm. uh, some of the background some are 3D some are painted things to highlight is the background we're now covering it because you know uh, Project Dreamcatcher is set in Malaysia and mm -hmm. the music video are set in Penang full of colourful cultures and historical mm -hmm. building and stuff so you might see some uh, very noticeable uh, popular spots behind so yeah these are the six um, screenshot that we could tease you for today. So what are the unique selling points? Okay, the unique selling point for this project is we try to emphasize on our, lo uh, our local culture mm -hmm. and also like the, our beautiful like sports, tourism sports and also food culture, everything tradition that kind of thing so that's also one of the main goal of dreamcatcher is to introduce to the younger audience or the yeah, or overseas audience that uh, malaysia has all these kind of colorful cultures mm -hmm. and what makes it good is that um it is a new medium um, anime is a new medium so it wouldn't be like very boring right because usually when it comes to this kind of thing like 
younger generation are not really interested like like the culture tradition that kind of thing so we hope that by using anime um younger generation might go into it start to appreciate our local culture so it won't die out then yes the environment concept penang why penang out of curious like you could have chose like kl or you could have chosen like jb malacca uh why penang it, it's a very hard actually it's very hard for us to decide because like malaysia has so many states right every state has their own um special there are something special ab- ab- about every state mm-hmm. but penang just our opinion it stand stand out the most because one it maybe in the inter- international level mm. people are no it's kind of famous right penang and secondly uh it it has all the stuff that we can talk about like the old stuff right heritage the the culture the traditional it's not just like malay or chinese or indian that are more and also there are also new stuff right cafe that kind of thing so it's a combination of old and also like the new and fresh stuff so i think that is the best that's why it makes pinang stands out and that's the reason why we choose pinang as our main location from pr- production point of view is like of course you want to push the project towards uh global i mean worldwide as as much as possible mm. so we think that pinang is uh one of the well known places or, or tourist spot that uh, most of the overseas people are uh, are known So this this one of the reason also we 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 choose to use Pine as our first stepping stone. You know? Like eventually we will want to introduce more states mm-hmm. um, when the story progress. So from here we can see that there are actually some scenes that are based off real life locations. Correct, correct. If you look at the first picture, it is uh, Chiu Jati, uh, a quite famous story spot in Pine. A lot of people go there. So, and also the the house of our uh, protagonist, she stays in Chiu Jati. That's why that's the main location that we are featuring for this MV and also the project itself. So yeah, as you can see, like the right side are all our art rendition of um, the location, and at the right side, it's actually the real location that we actually go there and take photo mm. as our reference, lah. Basically. Mm-hmm. So you guys actually been to. These locations to design them. Yeah, we did organize a trip just to go there, and then we scout out the location, and then we just take a lot of picture, and then we try to do art rendition on them to put it into an MV. Mm. Yeah, these these arts not going to lie. I actually really like when I, I actually really like seeing the street art of Malaysia, to be honest, because uh, for me, I'm actually. I know I'm doxing a bit, but uh, when I say I go to Malaysia, I usually go to Johor, and in Johor, mm. there's also a lot of like these street arts, and I still remember when I went to Ipoh, like also the street arts. Yeah, yeah, I think Ipoh, Malacca, Penang, mm. Johor, Johor, yeah, and also, um, I think KL, if I'm mistaken, has a lot of this kind of street art. That's one of the charm of Malaysia, basically. If you want to come to Malaysia, you, if you want to travel to Malaysia. This is one of the things that you can do. So, a quick question before we switch slides: Have you two personally left any street art before created any street arts? Like personal go and paint yes, street personally. art? Yes, no no no, 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 no. Unfortunately, we don't have that opportunity. But if we, if let's say we can leave a dream catcher street art in Penang, that would be great. <laughs> I would actually go there just to take a picture of that in that case. 